Disney is not Star Wars. I think that Disney actually hired people on the internet to pose as fans, even though they're not, even though they're in the payroll of Disney, to say a bunch of negative stuff about Star Wars for years and years, to create a, a movement of negativity among the Star Wars fans to try and, you know, take Star Wars away from George Lucas. I think that George Lucas wasn't entirely willing to sell it. I think he was probably, you know, they were twisting his arm. They were trying to find some, some leverage to push against him, to force him to give up his franchise that he created. That's so good because I think they were jealous of him for years and years. And they're angry at him and they're actually spiteful because he had something so wonderful and it didn't belong to them and he wouldn't sell it. And he didn't want to sell it. And I think that Disney deliberately hired and is continuing to, hop, to pay money to hire people on the internet to pose as supposedly Star Wars fans to try and, you know, number one, say negative things about George Lucas to make it look as if the Star Wars community was somehow not, you know, fans of George Lucas. But we are. We do like George Lucas. You know, I never agreed with all this criticism. All that criticism, I never, I never believed in it. I like everything that George Lucas did. I like all the characters. I like everything that he chose to do. That's exactly how it would have happened and should have happened. I believe in his artistic vision. You know, I never agreed with all that, you know, negativity. And I never understood where the hell is it coming from because there's no way this is, you know, normal. It's just seemed, it seemed artificial, it seemed forced. You know, it's too consistent. I think that Disney paid money to buy people off to make them into basically Disney fanboys and George Lucas haters, you know, paying people to be a hater on George Lucas, to be a hater on everything that George Lucas did, and then to be a fanboy for Disney, even though Disney doesn't have any creative talent when it comes to Star Wars. And I have to say, you know, for someone who's like Disney, who's supposed to be so great at making stories, they really did a poor job. They really did a bad job with Star Wars. And that's that's not a criticism on Daisy Ridley. That's not it. Um, it's not a criticism on Mr. Bodega. It's not a cri criticism on the actors. It's not their fault. But, you know, they have to do what the lions say to do. Unfortunately, even the actors are saying that, hey, the lions suck. This is, this is you know, it's not really... You know, even, you know, even you know, Mark Hamill was saying, "Hey, this is this is garbage." This is, oh, oh man, everyone's driving crazy. You know, everyone, you know, it's not really good Star Wars. And just from the first moment I watched, I started watching this new set of Star Wars, and I, I had high hopes. I had, <clears throat> excuse me, I had high hopes. I was hoping for it to be good. I was open-minded to think, "Hey, maybe some good stuff will happen here." But it.